Fee Waybill of the Tubes talks about my favorite Richard Marks song, Too Late to Say Goodbye from Repeat Offender. I just love that song. I love playing it loud. Prairie Prince of the Tubes is on drums, and Fee co-wrote it. That's coming up in this segment with Fee Waybill of the Tubes. Remember, the entire interview is also on our sister channel, Rock History Book. Click in the description and you'll see it all. Here's Fee Waybill. Too late to say goodbye. Could you give me any kind of soundbite about that? Because that, that song, I just bought it on vinyl again and played it really? on these big JBL speakers really, really loud with mm-hmm. Michael Landau going. Rrr. Anyway, yeah. and Prairie, what a drummer that guy. He's crazy, man. He drums so hard. I know. I know. But tell me, can you share I, anything about that song? Uh, well, I think I, I can't remember what I, I can't can't remember if he had the title. A lot of times when we write, he'll have just a one line of, of a chorus, a title line. And uh, it's too late to say goodbye. Uh, you know, it's one of his love songs. He's a love songwriter. And, and uh, uh, I, think it, I think it was one of those songs where, you know, when I write... Uh, I, I, lyrics kind of come to me in, in different ways. You know, sometimes it's like that song, it's too late to say goodbye. I had the chorus or he gave me the chorus. And, and so I have to like go backwards to the, how does the verse and the B section and the verses lead up to that conclusion, to that line in the chorus? What, how does that work? And how do you, how do you construct the lyric to make it to make sense that it leads up to that. And I remember that was a hard one uh, because, you know, you don't, you want it to be, you don't want it to be too tear jerky, you know, and, uh, and, and sometimes it happens the other way around. Sometimes I don't have a chorus. Sometimes all I have is the first line and I have a, a first line and, I want it, and so I have to kind of stream of consciousness, figure out where where does that go, and and let the one line lead into the next line, and then the next line, and the next, and then figure out after this, well, what do you, what is the, what is the synopsis here of these? How do, what does the chorus summarize? You know, and uh, uh, another thing he did is, I mean. I don't know what you, if you bought the original record, or, but he's gone in and re-recorded all of his songs, you know, and so that, you know, the master use license isn't owned by the record company. It's owned by him because people want to use the song for something. And he goes, well, yeah, well, the, I, I, here's, here's, a, here's another version of it. that sounds just, this is exactly the same, only it's re-recorded. I redid it. And I've gone. I've gone back with him and done a number of those songs and did vocals on a number of those songs with him. I heard the story about your your mom's passing. Sorry, and I heard that you finding all this stuff, like yeah. uh, all the and you know I just finished asking, and I know your history with with Luke. I you know Luke does these interviews. I've done many interviews with him because I follow, I just did David Page today for God's sakes, uh, two hours ago. Oh, really, um, and. But anyway, he uh, he's got all this stuff behind him, and I asked him. I said, "Well, do you when are you gonna are you ever gonna sell your stuff?" And he said, "No, my kids can. You know, they'll still uh, they'll sell my stuff. I like I like it around, and I understand that because it's forty years of radio, been in yeah. radio forty years. Yeah. Now, before you found that box, did you have stuff? Do you keep it? I had some stuff, but my mother had everything. She had like six boxes full of newspaper clippings and magazine and, you know, everything, photos and just a ton of stuff. And Elizabeth and I, my wife and I have, you know, it's been, it's, we've gone through, it's been, it's been years. We've, it's taken us like a couple of years to go through all this stuff and try to collate it all. You want to do a book, right? You want to do another book. You want to do that. Yeah. Into some like history of, my life, you know, how it all, it all came down. And so it's still in the works and it's, I, I guess we're finding out now that uh, we have to get the rights to a lot of stuff, photos and magazine and all that. And it's just going to be, you know, a, 
we've kind of backed off and kind of thought, oh, well, you know, do we really want to do this? And, you know, so we're, we're, we've kind of put it aside right now. So I don't know what's happening with it. And, uh, uh, were you we're, surprised that she, she kept all that stuff? Did you know that side of her? Did she tell you no, this stuff? No, I didn't know. I had no idea. I, but I mean, she, she was one of those mothers who just would, you know, she, she was just constantly calling and asking. And they, she used to come to shows every time we played Scottsdale, she would come to the show. And here's this, you know, 85 year old woman who was in pretty good shape. And, and, uh, you know, my brother would bring her or my sister or somebody would bring her to a show and, these she she'd like do interviews and people would come up to her and go your fees mother oh and they sit down next to her and they start talking and she just start going off you know and, oh yeah and tell her tell them all about my childhood and about oh just you know all of this information that you know I I wasn't I I I mean I wasn't trying to hide anything but you know it's not the kind of thing that that I'm going to divulge. And, well, uh, some of it you probably didn't think was important as well. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, they used to have, uh, and I didn't know this, actually, somebody else told me this. I didn't remember. Well, they used to have, uh, I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, and my parents had a, a movie theater they ran, a little movie theater. It was called the Bijou Theater. And uh, they said, yeah, before every movie, Johnny, that was me would jump up on the stage in front of the movie screen and dance and jump up and down and dance and do a whole kind of, you know, I just, I mean, I was like, I was like two or three or something. Well, you did take theater later on. So there you go. Yeah. Remember, if you want to see the entire interview, it's on our sister channel, Rock History Book. There'll be links to the podcast and the entire interview, as well as all things tubes. Remember, support our channel by liking our video. Also, share them on groups you may be a member of. If they fit in those groups, please share them on that or your timeline. It helps our channel. Subscribe to our channel. And of course, always comment on them. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. More from Fee Waybill in the next two, three days.